What is that? A Kelpie. Don't see many of those in these parts. She must be theirs. Will she take us to them? I'll ask her. Nicely. Easy, girl. Easy. That's right. Good. Care to talk about whatever the norms put you through? No. Get on. That's a good lass. Lovely creatures, but temperamental by reputation. In my land, they'd keep children away from the lost by telling them a Kelpie would drown them. Of course, no Kelpie I know would do such a thing. Unless it was disrespected. It walks on water. Aye. No mystical water steeds to speak of in Greece, brother? Mm. There were the Hippocamps. They served the Sea God. I battled one upon a Titan. That might not be her favorite subject. own hideaway. Never doubted we'd make it. Kratos, Freya, and Mimir's head. Enter the home of the Norns, tentatively. They have finally reached their destination. Kratos speaks first. I, I seek, seek my, my son! son. <laughs> you know the child is an Asgard. No, you see. What all who search for us seek. To know the ending to your story. The ghost of Sparta furrows his brow menacingly. He resists the urge to grunt. Oh, he fails. You come to us, piteous archetypes, seeking freedom from your scripts. As if knowing your lines would grant you the power to rewrite them. Speak, Speak plain. <laughs> you will die, Kratos of Sparta. But you, but called, you called him, him the, the destroyer, destroyer of fate. fate. There, there must, must be a way, way to subvert, subvert destiny. destiny. There is no destiny, Puck. The protagonists are speechless. They do not understand. There is no grand design, no script. Only the choices you make. That your choices are so predictable, merely make us seem prescient. When, when my, my son, son was born, born shut up! <laughs> your prophecy said he would die a needless death, and he did. Because you could not let him go. Because he thirsted for revenge. And because you kill gods. But what Kratos did... It was not out of hate. Should I bring him a crown then? He still slays gods, but now he's sad about it? You are the sum of your choices, nothing more. And because your choices never change, you will learn that Heimdall intends to kill your son in Asgard. And you will do what you do best. And then Ragnarok. The skies burn, the curtains fall. Exunt omni. Heimdall. <laughs> Again, he misses the point. Focusing on the second act to the exclusion of the final. A common mistake in Storycraft. We are, we are leaving. leaving.
He stomps away, followed closely by Freya. I enjoyed your story, Kratos. Pity it has to end so soon. <laughs> well, that was educational. Hmm. Let us leave this place. Happily. That's better. I can feel things getting more normal already. Wait. That tree. Well, isn't that interesting? What is this? That's the noose, brother. The one Odin hanged himself with. As part of his endless mad quest for secrets of life and death and what have you. What are you doing? It's a charged object, significant to Odin. Perhaps I'll find a use for it. Brother, what they said about the boy... Will not happen. Oh, I agree. It will not happen. We will not let it. Of course we bloody won't. The question is how? You wouldn't seriously consider killing Heimdall, would you? I will do what I must. Oh, is that all? You're wrong to dissuade him, Amir. You know Heimdall. I grant you that he's a spiteful, vicious little shit. And so loyal, Odin entrusted him with Galahorn. If we have the chance to eliminate him before Ragnarok, we shouldn't hesitate. Considering his powers of foresight alone, that is an if of mountainous size. Even supposing we're all perfectly comfortable plotting an assassination, and I, for one, am a mite rusty at that measure, we've got no way to reach Heimdall, and no way to kill him if we did. I have killed gods greater than him. I don't doubt that, brother, but it's hardly my point. I see something. <clears throat> Up there. Get out of here. Look, I think we're missing the Norn's message here. We've all got our tendencies, and yours is to run headlong into danger to protect the ones you love. I do not intend to change. Not about that. Why should you? Apparently my tendency is to kill the ones I love. Freya. I don't need you to comfort me. Either of you. Their accusation was cruel. None of us believe... The truth can be a cruel thing. Anyone care to argue with that? No. But Baldur's fate had many causes. 
prophecy among them. How do you mean, brother? There are many tales in my homeland of those who fulfilled prophecy by attempting to avoid it. So it was when Freya tried to protect Baldur, and so it was when I accused my son of going to Asgard. Then we agree. It'd be foolish to go after Heimdall. No. If Heimdall must die for Atreus to live, then Heimdall must die. How can you say that, knowing what you know? Because if Heimdall is a threat to my son, I must act. It is my... Your nature. Well played, Norns. Bag. You knew this warrior. Do me a favor, brother. You see any more of these ghostly berserker tossers, give them the same. You'll be doing the Nine Realms a favor. Did these warriors wrong you at some point, Mimir? You're quite agitated, even for you. No need to rehash ancient history if it's all the same to you. Very well. Where is he? 
Impossible to say. She's on a mission spanning the realms in search of our lost sisters. Our hope is if she can bring their incorporeal spirits to Vanaheim, we can find a way to restore them to uncorrupted forms. Tell me of this power Heimdall wields. He sees the future. More like he reads the person, sees their intention. My intent will be to kill him. Knowing that will be no advantage. Brother, this is no one to underestimate. Any move you make, he'll have seen it coming. If you must face him, we need something else. An edge. Humor me? Very well. We will ask the dwarves. Ah. The inevitable asking of the dwarves. Excuse me, sir. Could I have a moment of your time? Oh dear, oh dear. What's to be done? What is it you want? It has come to my attention that Nithog has been slain, and as a result, her offspring have been let loose into the Nine Realms. What of it? Unfortunately, without a proper role model to supervise them, the little rascals are certain to fall to mischief. In time, said mischief could culminate in nothing less than their devouring of the Nine Realms entirely. In order to avoid such a grisly fate, I'd like you to bring the lean worms to me. I believe I can act as a satisfactory paternal figure in their upbringing. You'll find the specimens gnawing on tears throughout the realms. Use this device to safely store them, bring them back to me, and I promise I'll make it worth your while. You mean to say you'd raise them by yourself? Indeed. I have no small experience managing extreme personalities. Compared to wrestling with my emotions in the most literal of senses, I dare say raising a handful of leaned worms will be a walk in the park. Now, what else might there be to discuss? Hmm. Now, what else might there be to discuss? About Nithog. You should know. We had no choice. It was Odin's doing. Oh, I am very well aware indeed of the alleged All-Father's role in this tragedy. Sadly, there's no expecting him to clean up after himself. Not all gods showed the interest that you do in righting past wrongs. I do hope you're able to locate those leaned worms. Good luck to you. Carry on, my friend. back. They're back. Simmer down. I see them. I have news. Oh, did the Norns tell you how to get Atreus back? Do we have a plan? The Norns say Atreus will be killed by Heimdall. The plan is to kill Heimdall first. Oh, wow. Okay, Heimdall. Let's see. Never loses. Sees everything coming. Unpopular at parties. This won't be easy. Whatever his advantages, I will overwhelm him with my own. That's the idea. You gotta overpopulate his senses, see? And I got just the thing in mind to help you do it. Sindri, go get Dropnir. Dropnir? But we need it. Our supplies. Oh, we got plenty. And to spare. Even if we did, Dropnir's no weapon. Why would a... Oh. You mean we combine it with... That's right. And then when he... It'll go... Damn you, that's brilliant. Very well. I suppose there's nothing to do, but... Go fetch Dropnir. Dropnir? I bloody knew these two had nicked it. And Odin blamed me for it disappearing. 
They stole Dropnir. We didn't steal nothing. We just ungifted what never should have been gifted in the first place. How will this help me kill Heimdall? Never you mind all that. It's a fucking surprise. We're artists. But to even store Dropnir, you need... You were saying... Now you intend to kill Heimdall. Violence cannot prevent violence, Kratos. I truly thought you understood that. No matter what you thought I understood, my son is in danger. I will not allow harm to come to him. Not only to Atreus, but to everyone. He's Odin's left hand, and he carries the horn that begins Ragnarok. If we have the chance to eliminate him, we and should... And it's just as likely a trap, because the bastard knows your intentions. Kratos, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on him. Not one. Well, I gathered what's fit for gathering. How long will it take? We'll have to go to Svartalfheim to get the rest of the materials. Not to mention, we'll have to visit... the lady. Oh. Whew. Whew. That's a relief. <laughs> uh. Ow. Kratos, whenever you're ready. The lady? No idea what he's on about, brother. around the violence that follows him, that follows you both. I'm sorry. You ready to go? I'm only just realizing all the little routines I've had to adopt taking care of Dropnir. I'll miss melting rings down for crafting gold, but I suppose we have enough to see us through to Ragnarok. <laughs> Too soon? <laughs> see you out there. Ah, time to go see the lady. I'll take it from here. Oh, no. This whole thing were my idea. I'll speak to the lady. I never get to speak to the lady. There are reasons for that. Brock will go. What? No, no, no. I you heard him. Quit your fret. I ain't gonna mess nothing up. What the? <sighs> no, you shrimps. Think that'll keep us out? 
will think the fuck again. What was all that then? Oh, just Sendry trying to hog all the glory. Same old shit. Not that. The gate. What's wrong with a bloody gate? Most likely someone in need of a lyre been making a fuckery of the works. Probably on account of all that incursioning you got up to. But don't worry, you little dangling head. Old Brock came prepared. I got ways in and out from the old days. Gates did never even think to look for, on account of being stupid. Brock, where are we? This here's your stop. Abandoned service tunnel, direct to the forge camp. I'll meet you up there. Go on. Brock. And he's gone. You sure he was the right pick for this, brother? I trust him. He speaks plain. And yet so colorfully. There. We keep cooperating, maybe someday it'll be Asgard in flames. That is not my goal. Doesn't mean it's not your destiny. What are you insinuating, Highness? Not a thing. Poor bugger. Why would he hide in here? He feared something in these tunnels more than he feared starving. Hardly seems rational. Fear seldom is. Guess we'll have to blast our way out. That barrel by the gate should do the trick. So, a tunnel for liquor and explosives. Little on the nose for dwarven culture, isn't it? Ridiculing a culture you helped undermine. Classic Aesir. Oh, all right. Yeah. Behind you, brother! Well, you see why it's an abandoned service tunnel. Another oil spill. Ah, a fortuitous oil spill. Oh, my God. 
Kratos? Kratos! Please listen. You have to let me take Brock's place. He can't talk to the lady. He mustn't. No. Do not ask again. But... Oh dear. It's not his fault Atreus ran off, you know. Or are you just being Brock's champion? There it is again! You're insinuating, and you know it. Can't the smartest man alive put it together? The Giants conceal a mysterious figure who changes the fate of Ragnarok, and you're oblivious to the only rational candidate. The one who's fought wars against gods and won. I am not their champion. Well, we're each entitled to our opinion. These gates seem to be connected. See if you can break that far fixture. It's open. Bloody heartier sort of grim. These won't be easy tunnels for the dwarves to take back. We'll need to get one of those gates open. seen these troughs before, haven't we, brother? Whoa! 
That worked. Shall we? This opinion of yours. Was that the reason you proposed this alliance? You expect me to lead your armies at Ragnarok? That is Tyr's job, not mine. It's plain to see Tyr's no war god anymore. Nor am I. I have left that life behind. Not killing gods you haven't. Or else what are we doing in this realm? Forging this weapon? Your choice. You know where it might lead. I am only protecting I my... know. I know. And we both know the places protecting your child can take you. Sigil arrows won't yeah. work on this. They got the third one hidden away. Possessed by nightmares. They'll be even more dangerous until we stun them. Atreus' mother was a giant, isn't that right? She was one of the Jotnar. Yes. I didn't mean she was tall as a house. I, I know not all giants are giants. Not that there's anything wrong with the disparity in size. Or number of limbs, see? Nothing in the world. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs> 
There. Now we can open the other gate. Why is it you ask? I was just thinking of how Odin antagonized the giants for generations. Nearly wiped them out of existence twice. Now you may have a role to play in stopping him once and for all. Don't you think it's possible that's what your wife would have wanted? Do not presume to know what she wanted. I'm not saying anything you haven't thought. Her secrets haunt every step of your path, wasn't it? Maybe if you talked about your doubts, they wouldn't explode when you talked to your son. I do not doubt. She knows what I left behind. She would never have asked that of me. Why would she need to ask? She saw your fate. Three of Odin's kin dead because of the path she put you on. You don't think she knew exactly what it meant, sending you to Jotunheim? This is mere conjecture and probably quite enough of it, Highness. We're all making an effort to cooperate here, after all. You're right. It's not for me to say. All right. Let's get that wheel turning. Ah, teamwork. Just two of them. Ready for some fresh air after that. Everyone thought so. It is close. I can feel it. I wasn't trying to provoke you or cast doubt on your marriage. It just seems to me your thoughts haven't caught up to your instincts yet. And I know something about that.
When we get out of here, I'll give you some space. Let you think carefully about whether you're ready for what it means to make this weapon and to use it. Meanwhile, I'll see what else I can learn while we're here. Maybe I'll send a few Ain Hair Yar back to Valhalla for good measure. Well, you have fun now. Hey, you made it! About time. I got everything all set here. Now we just gotta push on up to the forge. Folky! Go to Payne's coming here, busting old Tear loose. What a prize he turned out to be, huh? Is <laughs> it enough? It's time to steal my kitchen, though. <laughs> Forge ahead. Unintended, I imagine. Hang on. Almost got it. There. Well, come on in, stranger. I never do get used to that trick. Locals up ahead. Act civilized, and hopefully nobody springs an alarm. No, what's your nattering, you snake-sucking mommy milk sauce with your protective gear? Ain't you never seen a legend in the flesh before? See what's wrong here, don't you? Those creepy flying eyeballs made a nest up on the cables. We gotta figure a way up there and clear them all. Looks like that wheel up there opens the gate. Not that we can reach it or anything. Hmm. No grappling up that way. Why don't you look around and see if there's a way to lift this lift?
Hang on, coming around. Brother, did you notice the dwarves of the camp were twice as alarmed to see Brock than they were to see you? They did seem surprised. All right. Now I can turn this crank and cap that geyser there. You just give me the signal when you're ready. Now. On it! Turn it. Copy that. Again. He is dead. We gotta have a full stop here. Crank cover. You do the other stuff. Look around. Find an angle. Ain't this what you do? <laughs> ah, promising. I think they seen us. Hey! Calling all pecker trip! They're up there! Finally! Now we can ride on up to the forge. Come on! The lady's waiting. Hey! Got another riddle for you. What gets bigger, the more you take away from it. Well, let's see. Something abstract, I expect. Appetite? No, that doesn't work. <laughs> stump the stump. <laughs> oh, isn't that clever? Bam, what?
That's brisk. Think I'll grab some for the lady. Grab some what? The wind? No, you idiot. The sound of the wind. Oh, watch and learn. See? Dwarven magic's all about the intangibles. The relationship between the stuff what you can touch and what you can't. It's about understanding. Understanding what? The nature of a thing's more important than the form of a thing. Hang on. I smell trouble. <laughs> creature in this whole realm. Why, I've been waiting for my chance to meet her since I was knee-high to a Noken. But Sindri had never have it, said a one But today's finally the day. Woo! I got goosebumps on my bunions. <laughs> bro, I've never seen you so... Reverend. Are you nervous? What? Shut up. No, 